I subscribe to Vanity Fair. I get it for $2 a year from Blue Dolphin. It's a decent magazine. Now, its political coverage has an obvious and expected libtard slant, but when it touches on religious topics, it's mostly pretty grown up. This is obviously aimed at an older reader, so it encompasses the more pluralistic attitude towards religion in the public square that we used to have here in America, rather than just the blinkered adolescent fawning over Lawrence Krauss that we expect nowadays. But in this cover story on the actor Chris Pratt, something popped out at me, so uh, let me read to you here. So the article here is describing Chris Pratt's conversion to Christianity, and the author says, Okay, let's stop for a moment, because this is strange and so distant from what we expect of a movie star, especially of the clever, slapdash, wise guy variety. But everyone needs a story to make sense of their life, even the most successful. The extreme demands explanation. For Pratt, success, so extreme it scared him, is explained by metaphysical intervention. We see this often with the secular liberal elite, that they are so disturbed by genuine religious faith that they feel compelled to explain it away. That's why I always say, for all their good words about science, the favorite sciences of the atheist are bullshit ersatz versions of the soft sciences, namely psychology and sociology. They'll say, mankind invented religion to explain the natural world, or they'll say, you only believe in God because you fear the unknown, and there's an appropriate response to that, which is, shove it up your ass. And they'll say, well, that's not a very intellectual response, and you say, you don't deserve an intellectual response because you haven't given me anything intellectual to work with. Get an actual argument, prove anything you say, until then, shove it up your ass. Now, if you remember I was saying that the political coverage has an obvious libtard slant, I thought this was particularly rich from the December 2016 issue of Vanity Fair. The editor's note begins, At this point, I suspect that Donald Trump is deeply regretting his rash decision to run for president. Yes, by the time Donald Trump was elected president, Vanity Fair had already gone to press saying that he must regret his decision to run for the presidency. I thought that was ironic. By the way, the, uh, the ads here at the beginning, it's, it's, it's all Kendall Jenner. Look at this, look at this. Kendall Jenner. It's, it's just Kendall jenner I don't know if that's Kendall Jenner. Kendall jenner -ific. Kendall Jenner. Another Christian. Kendall Jenner. Good to know. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.